Hello, I'm Elizabeth Webb, your yoga lifestyle coach. Today, I've titled Twisted Breathing. <laughs> so, as our title of t Twisted Breathing, what does that mean? What that means is we're going to become aware of how we breathe. Most, can I say Americans? People, most people. Most unconscious people, <laughs> um, if we're not aware of our breath and how we breathe, sometimes we just go into the stress breathing, and that's where just an upper third part of our lungs get full of air. And then sometimes, I don't know if I can breathe wrong anymore. Let, I'm going to try to breathe wrong. And what that's going to look like is the shoulders rise up, the chest puffs up, and it's very stressful on the body. Here goes. Let's see. I, what I see people doing is sucking in their gut and then lifting their chest and their shoulders. And look at me. I'm taking a deep breath in. Oh, that's so sad. Okay. Does that look like that's wrong breathing? I can't even remember how to breathe wrong anymore. I've been doing yoga for oh, almost 30 years. And... So my body is just attuned to breathing correctly. So I'm here today to share with you how to really open up the bottom of our ribs so that we can c come into a deep, full breath. So the first pose that I have for us today is the extended child's pose. I'm gonna take my arms out in front of me. I'm gonna lay my forehead on the ground. And then I'm going to ask you to come in and look at my ribs. And we're going to see if we can, and please join me. So if you're sitting on a chair, just reach over your tabletop. If you're on the ground, just reach forward. And it's nice if we can place our forehead on the ground. And then, now my chest is compressed onto my thighs, which I appreciate and I like that. Now, if that's really uncomfortable and this is your first time doing this, you probably won't be able to breathe deep into your lungs. So then you'll want to take your legs apart a little bit so that you can come down closer to the ground. And then that's much more comfortable. So your body has to tell you what pose to get into. So now let's take a look at the ribs here. And as we breathe in, see if you can notice the ribs moving. I can talk while I'm exhaling. And can you see the ribs contracting back? This is actually pretty hard to do because you have to really be aware of those lower ribs, the back of the body opening up. Let's do one more breath, just like this. Take your time to exhale the whole time I'm talking. And now bring your hands back. Walk, walk, walk your hands back, push yourself up. We're going to do that same thing, but I'm going to reach over towards the right so that you can become aware of watching my left ribs. And hopefully you'll open up the left side of your rib cage nice and deep. So let's come back to where we were, extending forward, but now we're going to walk the hands over towards the right and then as we feel the breath opening this left side of the ribs let's take a minute here and see if we can notice movement in your ribs
So as I'm talking, I'm exhaling and letting the ribs contract back to their natural place. It's probably a very subtle movement, but see if you can create that within yourself. And let's let this be our last breath. And I'm just going to take my hands. You too can take your hands and just walk, 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 walk all the way over to the left side. And then bring your awareness into that right side of the rib. See if you can notice movement in your right lower rib cage. See if the upper back on that right side of the ribs opens up a little bit as well as the, oops, I ran out of air, as well as the right side of the ribs. Walk your way back to center, and then from center, walk the hands back towards you. Come up to sitting, and we're going to lie on our back. So as we lie on our back, we're going to squeeze our knees into our chest. And if you've been following my show, you know that I really try to become aware of core strength. So slow motion, we're lowering ourselves down onto the ground. Yoga, become aware, wow, of how the <laughs> both sides of the ribs feel. Ooh, that was nice. And squeeze the knees into the chest. Now I'm going to drop my legs off towards the left. And we're going to become aware of the right side of the rib cage. Are you too all out of breath? Because that previous one, that was a lot of work. Okay, so I'm going to encourage you to um, ankles and knees glued together. And that's going to bring more effort, more awareness into the abdominal muscles. And we are trying to keep this right shoulder, the back of the shoulder, onto the ground. So we're feeling maybe a stretch through the pectoral muscles. And then we probably feel that length through the arms. And now let's bring our attention into this rib cage here. Now, it, it really takes a lot of practice and a lot of effort. To allow these intercostal muscles, the intercostal muscles are like those little, <laughs> can I say X? <laughs> They're like little X's and they are in between all of the ribs. Sometimes those tiny little muscles get all locked up because we haven't taken time to breathe deeply and allow those muscles be, to become elastic as though they're designed to be. So we just have this awareness of this side of the rib cage expanding and moving. Of course, the side of the rib cage that we're lying on typically doesn't have too much movement because we're really aware of moving this upper rib. Just one last breath. And then see if you can use the abdominal strength to keep the ankles and the knees glued together. Because otherwise, if we don't do anything, ah, ah, this is so relaxing. But I like to think about how can yoga benefit our strength?
strength, our stamina, our balance, our concentration, our focus, our core strength. So we're going to push the inner legs together. And we're going to keep the inner legs pressed <laughs> together. Oh my gosh. Now we've got some effort going on. And now we're going to bring our attention to this left side of the rib cage. I don't know if there'll be the same amount of movement on this side. Just recently I've had a little injury on the back of my body on this side. So my body might go into, um, what's that called, when it protects itself. So I'm working on opening and releasing those muscles that contracted themselves from that injury. So I'm opening the muscles because, of course, when anything, typically I think when anything gets injured, it contracts. Just do that one more time, one more breath right here. Well, you can take that right arm and help the outer right leg and push, 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 push your legs back to center. Ah, and then give the knees a nice squeeze into the chest. Feel the elongation of the back body. Feel the elongation through the neck. Feel the elongation through the tailbone. Feel the sh shoulders, they have a tendency when we reach, the shoulders have a tendency to reach with us. So as we reach our arms, let's bring the shoulders back and down, lengthening through the neck, the spine. Stay here, one last breath with this knee squeeze. And then Sitting. Oh, I like doing my spinal rolls to come up to sitting. You come up to sitting any way that's comfortable for you. If you're going to do a spinal roll, it's good to tuck your chin into your chest. Take a deep breath in and roll yourself up to sitting. Now we're going to take one leg and we're going to extend one leg. We're going to allow the other leg to be bent and as we fold over, we're going to become aware of, so I'm, if I'm mirroring you, this is my left side, so it'll be your right side. We're going to become aware of your right side, of your ribs. So a couple different ways to get into this. And again, if you've joined me and you're sitting on a chair, you can just sit on the chair and then kind of lean over sideways and kind of just feel the ribs start to open up just from a little twist and extension. So a couple different ways to be in this pose. To, to feel this body twisting, it's nice to take the outside of the hand, the arm, and put it on the inside of the leg and then use that pressure. See how I'm able to twist open? And then you can become aware of this side. And I like to push my hand into the bent leg so that I can get a little bit more length. Or we can take this top arm and lift it up and over. Now let's bring that focus into the right side of the ribs, the upper por portion here. And of course, as I was taking that deep breath in, the mouth <laughs> is quiet. And as I'm exhaling, I'm able to talk to you. To me, yoga is subtle. Can you be aware of that subtle awareness? Can you notice the ribs opening up? 
Let's do one more breath right here. And then slowly, I'm going to twist around here. Ah, yes. So we're extending the other leg, folding in this opposite leg, doing the same thing on the opposite side. So coming into this pose, Twisted Breathing is the title of our show today, right? So create the twist from your core strength. A lot of times we want to use our arms and we want to look at me. I can use my arms and I can twist my body. Oh, but let's have maybe 80% of the effort coming from the belly. So see how I'm able to twist my belly from the effort in, in the, twist my torso from the effort in the belly? All right, so now I'm going to engage my arms. And did I twist a little further? Yes, but I still use the ad abdominal core strength to create my twist. Now I'm going to create my length. I hope you're joining me. And again, like I said, if you're sitting on a chair, just kind of lean forward and sideways a little bit so that you can start to feel the openness in the back body on the side. And if this isn't much of a stretch for you, then we can lift that arm up and reach up and over. All right, that's a little bit too much of a stretch for me today. So I'm going to assist myself in this posture by pressing this knee down towards the ground. And then, look, I got longer. Just one more breath here. And then with that next inhalation, slowly come up, walking oh, yourself up. Now let's take a look at the front ribs in a variation of our cobra, po um, cobra camel, our camel pose. So a little bit of a twist. We're going to bring that focus into the right side of the rib. So we're going to look back at our left ankle. You can press your hand into your hip. You can reach for that ankle. But again, we can become aware of opening front, side, back of the right rib cage. We're just going to do one more breath right here. Deep breath in. And then letting go with the exhalation. Okay. Practicing yoga. Same thing, other side. So the arm is coming up. We're twisting. We're looking back at the right foot. Maybe we're holding and reaching that right foot and maybe we're coming up and creating that twist and then we're breathing into the left side of the rib cage. And let's stay here one more breath. And then we're going to take a twist into our pigeon pose. So in our pigeon pose, we're going to bring our, okay, I'm still going to mirror you. So I'm going to bring my left leg up, but I'm going to tell you it's my right leg. So that if you're looking at me, ah, nice. So I'm going to switch sides to begin with here. There we go. Mm. 
Oh, that feels so good. I'm going to switch sides again. Okay, now let's get into this where we're going to open up. So I've got my right leg forward and we're going to focus on our left ribs. So let's take our hands on the outside of this right foot, or I guess that's the knee up there. And then we're going to let this hip sink. <laughs> Notice how the hip is following me. But we're going to let this hip sink down to the ground. Oh, yes. And now we're going to start breathing into this side of the rib. And I hope we're really able to get some good close-ups here so that we can really see that subtle movement. You might not even be able to notice that it's moving. But hopefully, as you're doing this along with me, you're able to notice that movement a little bit. One more breath, deep breath in. Okay, so I'm going to twist around so we can do that all over again on the other side. So I had my right leg up, bringing the left leg up. Ah, oh, that feels so good just being in pigeon pose. Now we're going to delightfully add that twist. So we're going to bring both hands to the outside and let's be more conscious of our shoulders, bringing the shoulders back and down, feeling the chest coming forward between the arms so that we're not just like just hanging out here. Bring some length into the pose <laughs> and then let's allow this hip to come down to the ground. Oh, yes, and then feel those ribs opening up and let's breathe through them. I hope you're joining along today with our show. Hope you're getting some benefit into creating full, deep breaths. So today I designed this class so that we can become aware of how it feels to breathe deep into the bottom of our lungs. I'm just going to stay here one more breath. And then let's sit and let's take our legs. Let's cross our legs. And, oh yes, just notice, just be aware of what's happening in the body. Take one ankle in front of the other ankle. And let's fold over. And then we're going to walk towards the left. So let's take our hands and then we're going to bring our attention into this right side of the ribs. So as we walk, 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 reach, reach, reach to the left. Walk. Okay, now sometimes the buttocks wants to follow. So make sure the hips stay stable so that we're just opening up and away from the side of the ribs. So I've had fun labeling today's show twisted breathing because in twisted breathing <laughs> I just really wanted to give you a, a benefit and effort an opportunity to breathe into our twisted poses we're going to come back to starting yep bringing our attention into this left rib so see if you can notice your diaphragm expanding and pressing down into the abdomen on the in-breath. Can you feel your diaphragm going up into the lung cavity with the out-breath? It's good to get with a yoga therapist like myself 
or or a teacher that can really help become aware of breathing deep, full, complete breaths. Oh, yes. So now let's take a deep breath in. And at the beginning of the show, I tried to show you how to breathe wrong, which maybe you already do unconsciously. So we become conscious of our breath. So now let's take a deep breath in together. And as we take a deep breath in, can you feel how you're breathing all the way down into the bottom of the oleae? Those tentacle-like ends of the lungs, can you feel them opening and expanding and bringing air into the body? I hope you do. All right. So let's see how strong our abdominal muscles are. So this show sort of also made your abdominal muscles feel much stronger. So as you lie on your back, it probably feels like they've become stronger so that you can slowly lower yourself onto the ground. Mm. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hopefully you have a few minutes now for yourself where you can rest and relax and just be present with your breathing for a few minutes. Stay here for as long as you can. Namaste.